Hello, Diamond Royals. I'm back with another powerful message filled with the precious Holy Spirit on this morning. Thank God. Let's thank God for waking us up this morning on today. Let's thank God. He did not have to do it, but he woke us up this morning. It's the little things that he has done. He has woke us up this morning. Let's give him thanks for that and clothing you in your right mind. Glory. Hallelujah. I want to re uh, give a shout out to all the recent Cash App and Zill donations that I just received. You guys are sending amounts, amounts that I have not expected. <laughs> Glory, hallelujah. If that's what the Holy Spirit is putting on your heart to give, I have recently saw that. Um, I wish I can actually send you guys a message back on Cash App, but I don't think it's an option to let me do that. But it's okay. So y'all just get the heart right now. But that's why I give y'all a shout out during the video. Thank you so much for the recent donations. May God bless your house triple fold. I was not expecting those amounts that you guys are sending to Cash App and Zill. You guys are a blessing. Keep being led by the Holy Spirit uh, and just keep moving forward. But may God bless your house triple fold. Those of you that left them marvelous, and I, I can't even get the word out. It was so marvelous. <laughs> Those great and unexpected cash app donations. May God bless your home triple fold. Those of you that just left it within the last five or six days. I see all you guys. You guys are a blessing. You guys are a blessing to the ministry. Thank you so much. Okay. So the prophetic word I have on today, and this is what the Holy Spirit's been putting on my heart this morning. He has called you, God, his Holy Spirit, has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. You have been called out of darkness, you that's watching this video. You are walking in the dark. And I'm not, we're, I'm not here to judge you because we all came from somewhere. We went astray into darkness. We were doing things opposite from what God wanted us to do, most of us. But then the Holy Spirit came upon us and then he called us back into his marvelous light because we went astray at a point in time. You were doing things that the Holy Spirit didn't want you to do. You was doing worldly things. Worldly things, you were doing things that God did not want you to do for, to, for him to get the glory in your life. And this is why you had the spiritual warfare going on so much. You were going to clubs, environments, around people that drink and smoke and listen to secular music all day. That's the stuff that God delivered someone out of on this channel. You were also, um, you were also in strip club environments. I'm getting that heavy about strip club environments. If you were not there, you was not just doing what the Holy Spirit wanted you to do. You were running with the wrong crowd, some of you guys. Some of you guys were doing drugs. And God called you away from that. You had an addiction to drugs. Some of you guys had an addiction to pornography. Some of you guys had addictions to just unholy things. That did not give God in heaven the glory. But because you were once like that. You repenting of your sins. <laughs> you repenting of your sins. And God brought you back into his marvelous light. Now you're shining bright. You're glowing because the Holy Spirit has came upon you like a dove. Like that dove that came upon Yeshua. When he went and first got baptized by John the Baptist. The Spirit, the Holy Spirit set up on him like a dove. That's what happened with Yeshua. And the same thing happened to you. You told God you were sorry. <laughs> and I can relate because that was me. Lord, I'm sorry for what I did in your sight. Letting your flesh lead you and not being led by the Holy Spirit. But now you know the importance of being led by the Holy Spirit and not by your flesh. You know that importance. And God said he's proud of you for that. Now you're in the light and now you don't even have a desire. Glory, hallelujah. You don't even have a desire to do the things you once was going to do. You don't no longer have that desire 
God said he's happy with you about that. All you want to do is spend time in your word and prayer. You don't even run with the same people you ran with no more because they 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 still worldly. But God called you out. So your friend group has changed. You have changed in a lot of things. You're not doing the things you once did no more. You're not running with the same crowd. You don't go to the same places that you go to. And that's the result of having the Holy Spirit. When you get that Holy Spirit, certain environments are not fit for you. You no longer go to the strip clubs. You no longer go to club environments. You go to worship services. You go to Shabbat word services. You go to fasting and worship uh, services that people in gatherings for prayer. This is the person you are today. And people no longer recognize you anymore because you are different. Because the Holy Spirit has made you over. When you get the Holy Spirit, you become new. God has made you new for his glory. People cannot hold your past against you because God is doing a new thing in you. You repented of your sins. That's what God wanted you to do. He said, because you repented of your sins. This word is for somebody. I added another 40, 50 years on your life. That's what God did for you. Glory, hallelujah. I don't know who that's for right now, but God said he added another 40 to 50 years of your life. When you got a doctor's report that you wasn't going to survive, he added the 40, 50 years because your heart posture got right with him and you changed and you changed your diet. But most importantly, you got right with God in heaven and you started walking in his marvelous light. He calls you to pray and worship and out of your belly was flowing rivers of living water so you can flow. Glory, hallelujah. Out of your belly flow rivers of living water so you can honor him in spirit and in truth. I believe there was a prophet in the Bible. I think it was prophet uh, Nehemiah. If it wasn't him, it was, I think, Nicodemus. It was one of those two. One of them was not going to live. They wasn't doing what God wanted them to do. One of those two prophets. I can't remember the exact name. I don't have my Bible with me. But if you guys know the prophet that I'm talking about or the person, if he wasn't a prophet, he was a person that Yeshua talked to, put it in the comment section for me. This person was going to die in about five to seven years. And God added another 10 to 12 years on his life because he got right with God in his heart posture. He started doing righteous things. He started doing holy things towards God. And God added another 12 years of his life. I know y'all know who I'm talking about. Who are my Bible people right now on this video? Let me know in the comment section. God will add time to your life. Because you know the wages of sin is death. When you are in sin and darkness, you are leading to death. But you were called into his marvelous light. And God is saying, because you got out of darkness into his light, he added time on your life. He added time. God did not want you to have a premature death walking in the darkness. See, the devil wants to rob you of your life and of your destiny. This is the reason why you don't go astray into the darkness and do worldly and sinful things. Just like he lied to Eve and said, did God say you will surely die if you eat from the life of good and the tree of good and evil? And he lied to the woman and said, you shall not surely die. But in that moment she ate, she died because she sinned. Whatever that sin was on a tree of knowledge between good and evil, she sinned in God's sight. Her and then caused her husband to sin. And after they sinned, they both died. And God driven away. This is why the Heavenly Father says the wages of sin is death. Do not sin, but live a holy life. Because the devil lies to a lot of us and make us believe that we can get out here and do everything we want. And nothing's going to happen to us. When it's a lie, it's a lie. The devil lies. Satan lies. He's the father of lies. 
when I got involved into fornication, I will do a future video about my testimony, about my fornication, how I got off path and what, how God delivered me. It's not going to be an easy word, but I'm going to put that out one day. I might go on a live about that. But when you sin and when you sin against your own body and fornication, and adultery or things that you're not supposed to be doing, you do die. The devil come in and his demons start tormenting you. You are spiritually dead because of that. Until you repent and tell God you sorry. And say you won't do those things no more. I'm talking about a, a sincere repentance, y'all. I'm not talking about a repentance then you go back and do it again. I'm talking about repentance where you really sorry and you stop doing that sin that's keeping you away from God and his glory and his holiness for your life. That type of repentance, that deep repentance, that soul repentance to the point where heavenly angels are over you worshiping and praying and delivering your soul from the pits of hell that you put yourself in from the sin that you did in God's sight. God don't wish that no man perish, but you will die in your sin, especially if you don't repent from it. You don't know when your last day on earth is. So that's why you got to be connected with the Holy Spirit so he can lead you back to the Heavenly Father. Glory, hallelujah. 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 Somebody's being delivered. Somebody's being delivered. Holy. Holy. God loves you. He calls you out of darkness into his marvelous light. <laughs> you can no longer do the things you used to do. <laughs> How many of you guys are a witness? We can't do the things we used to do because the Holy Spirit lives in us. <laughs> People not going to understand you because of this. People not going to understand you. Because you got the Holy Spirit. They don't understand the Holy Spirit. They don't understand what he's doing in your life. They don't understand that he's cleaning you up spiritually. Getting out that spiritual wickedness. That spiritual darkness. Do people not know the Holy Spirit? Most people still don't know him. Don't even know the Holy Spirit. In these last and evil days. But you my friend. That's watching this video. You know the Holy Spirit. You know what he brung you out of. You know he brung you out of darkness. Into his marvelous light. When you could have died in your sin. And bust hell wide open. But because God's grace and mercy opened your life. He delivered you. And because somebody prayed for you. Somebody prayed for you. Somebody pray for you. This is why you're still here today. Not because of your works, but because of God. Somebody prayed for you. Somebody that was in right standing with God prayed for you. And then prayers reach heaven. And God came in, turned up your life upside down so you could get holy and righteous in his sight. And you're still here today for that very reason. Because somebody prayed for you. <laughs> I believe that's what happened to me. Somebody prayed for me. Somebody prayed for me. And I'm still here today. And now the Holy Spirit is li leading me to pray for others. <laughs> now I'm praying for others. And I'm praying for you that's watching this video. Praying and fasting. Praying and fasting and doing what God wants you to do this season is beneficial right now. Be happy God removed you away from people that was going to keep you in bondage, spiritual bondage. They said it's okay to fornicate. It's okay to do drugs with us, these, these peers or friends that you were around. It's okay. Oh, you a lame. You a lame because you're not doing what we do. No, no, no. This is why God removes you away from them. They're not where you are. They will be a snare to you where you are right now. When the Holy Spirit get up on you, folks got to go. Folks got to leave that ain't filled with the Holy Spirit. God is not playing. He's not playing about his children and his people. And the devil ain't playing about his people either. But in the end for them, if they don't get right with God, 
Y'all see many hell testimonies on YouTube. They will bust hell wide open if they don't get right with God and repent from their sins. Let it not be you. This is why the Holy Spirit came upon you for you to get righteous. If y'all notice, every sin in the Bible is forgivable except for blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. That's the only unforgivable sin out of all the sins you can do. Blasphemy of the Holy Spirit is an, a spiritual offense against the Heavenly Father and the Son Yeshua for dying on that cross. Blasphemy against the Holy Spirit. That will get you into hell and it's the unforgivable sin. It's in the New Testament. I can't remember the chapter and the verse, but it's there. That's the only unforgivable sin. So you can repent from all sins, but never blaspheme the Holy Spirit. Especially when you hear the Holy Spirit. He is realer than real. He is realer than real. And the Holy Spirit loves his children. The Holy Spirit is love. And he's light. He's light. That's the Holy Spirit. The, the same power that Moses had to put the staff in the water so the children of Israel can go through the water away from the Egyptians. That was the Holy Spirit power in that staff. When Pharaoh and all the Egyptians' firstborn kids died, that was the Holy Spirit in the earth causing all the chaos because the Egyptians wouldn't let the children of Israel go. That was the Holy Spirit. If you watch the Prince of Egypt, that was the Holy Spirit right there. You can't see the Spirit, but you can feel them like a rushing wind. I know y'all hear that wind right now. There's wind right now going right now because it's about to rain where I'm at in Florida. But that's how the Holy Spirit is. Do not play with the Holy Spirit. That same power back that Moses experienced to deliver the children of Israel is the same Holy Spirit today. It's the same Holy Spirit that caused Yeshua to go through the cross and go through that torment he had to go through and rose him on the third day. That was the Holy Spirit. Do y'all believe that by faith? That was the Holy Spirit raising him and resurrecting him. Resurrection is... Um, Passover is coming up. So it's a reason why I'm saying this right now. That was the Holy Spirit that rose him on the third day. Glory, hallelujah. Passover is coming up shortly. So I pray, I hope you guys are getting prepared for this holy feast day, Passover. Because Yeshua died, was in the belly for three days and hell for three days, but rose the third day and on the right hand by the power of the Holy Spirit that was on him. Do not play with the Holy Spirit. Do not play with it, the Holy Spirit. You cannot play with the Holy Spirit, y'all. He's real and he's not to joke around with. People just don't know him. The Holy Spirit and the power of Yeshua's blood is powerful than any demon. Any demon coming your way. Any demon, they got to submit to the blood of Yeshua. Even demons tremble at Yeshua's blood. Um, uh, name Jesus name they tremble but imagine them trembling at the Holy Spirit as well they tremble you got the Holy Spirit power to, power in you warfare gonna come up on you but you stronger this is why God calls us to fast pray and worship daily your daily bread and we're going to end this with prayer right now because I got to go. I got to go, y'all. Um, but I'm going to end with this prayer that the Holy Spirit wants his children to pray daily. This is one of the beautiful prayers from the scriptures. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Y'all were blessed with that word. Whoever this word was for you was blessed with it. May God bless your household triple fold. And keep being led by the Holy Spirit for your life. Because he truly calls you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Continue to shine. 
and let your light shine on a lampstand in front of this dark world because that's where God's children are supposed to be at the light of the world supposed to be on top shining over darkness I didn't think of these spiritual laws these laws was already here before we got here light overcomes darkness every time continue to walk in the light until next time family y'all enjoy your day bye bye